who is the Russian boy who claims he was born on Mars. How old is Bariska Kiprianovich now and what? Has he said? Scientists have been left perplexed after a young Russian claimed to have lived on Mars in his previous life. He is the young Russian who has baffled scientists with his out-of-this-world intelligence after claiming he was born in Mars. Bariska Kiprianovich, who lives in Volgograd, Russia, alleged he lived on the Red Planet before being reborn on Earth on an apparent mission to save mankind. Here is what we know about him. Who is Bariska Kiprianovich? Born in 1996, Boris Kiprianovich, who goes by the name Bariska, which means little Boris, is considered a child genius. His mother is a doctor and says she knew he was special as soon as he held his head up without any support just two weeks after being born. She claims he started speaking a few months later and by the age of one and a half was able to read, draw and paint. While Bariska was going to kindergarten at the age of just two, his teachers couldn't help but notice his incredible writing and language talents along with his astonishing memory skills. The boy has repeatedly claimed that he was previously a Martian pilot who traveled to Earth. Bariska's mother and father claim they didn't teach their son anything about space as a child but say he would often sit and talk about Mars, the planetary systems and alien civilizations. They say his fascination with space soon became his number one interest, and it wasn't long before he started claiming to have been born on Mars. Researchers have described him as an extremely shy young man with above-average intelligence. His outstanding knowledge of the planetary systems has confounded experts around the world, including scientists. He claims Mars was nearly destroyed by nuclear war. Bariska, now 21, dash claims he is from Mars, who has been sent to Earth to save humans from an apocalyptic nuclear war. He claims his own race of Martians was virtually wiped out in a nuclear conflict thousands of years ago and he fears we are now heading in the same direction. Bariska's concerns come as tensions between the U.S. and North Korea reach breaking point over trigger happy. Kim Jong-un's rapidly expanding nuclear weapons program. He warns that we will face the same catastrophic fate as his people if we don't listen to his apocalyptic warnings. He says he is not the only child from outer space on Earth, claiming there are others like him who were also sent here on a specific mission to save humanity. He claims they are all reincarnations and referred to as indigo children who have supernatural abilities and survived the Martian Wars. According to Bariska, many Martians are immortal and stop aging at 35. They are very tall, technologically advanced, and capable of interstellar travel. He said I remember the time, when I was 14 or 15 years old. The Martians were waging wars all the time so I would often have to participate in air raids with a friend of mine. We could travel in time and space flying in round spaceships, but we would observe life on Earth on triangular aircraft. Martian spaceships are very complicated. They're layered and they can fly all across the universe. Bariska supposedly stated that Mars still has an alien civilization despite suffering a massive nuclear catastrophe in the distant past. He insists there is a lot more to be discovered on Earth pointing to the Great Pyramid of Giza which he says hides. Big Secrets The human life will change when the Sphinx is opened, it is an opening mechanism somewhere behind the ear? I do not remember. Exactly, claims Bariska. Bariska explains the catastrophe that happened on Mars was caused by a nuclear war waged between the beings living there. There were only a few survivors, he claims, who constructed protection lodges and built new weapons. 
The boy states the Martians breathe carbon dioxide and if they sometimes come to our planet they would have to breathe out from pipes filled with it.